What is up, my butter biscuits? In today's video, it is my new makeup drops. Are they bops or flops? Y'all, I changed my shirt for my previous video if you guys did not check it out. I was like, y'all, I filmed two videos in the same shirt. And I was like, should I film three videos in the same shirt? And y'all know that normally I'm too lazy, but then I was like, let me just change. I don't even know why I'm wearing this shirt though, to be honest. Like, oh, it's so tight on my boobs. Anyways, uh, my new makeup drops, are they bops or flops? This is basically a video I do every single month. I'm sure you guys already know by now. I've literally been doing it for like, oh my gosh, has it been like a year? It's been over a year that I've been doing this every single month. This is basically like new makeup that I want to talk about only because like y'all I just don't have the finances to like be buying every single product you know what I'm saying but nine times out of ten when I do these videos it's kind of like a wish list there's some products that I'd be like oh I would really buy that if it was a little bit cheaper or oh I'd really buy that if it was like this color instead of that color do you know what I'm saying so that's what this video is um so of course if you guys are interested of course going to keep on watching also make sure you guys click down low down below and uh check out my second channel that is my channel with my brother I upload new videos there every single Sunday and yeah also I've said this in my past video too, but I'm saying it again. I did do a review of this mascara, y'all. I cannot believe this. You, you know what? I want to say this that I didn't say in my previous videos about this mascara. I kind of feel like this whole drama surrounding this mascara brought a little bit more life back to the beauty community because I did feel like it was getting a little bit stale. It was getting a little dry. And then we just started off the year with a bang, y'all. And I do have to say, like, I do think it sucks, obviously, for Michaela to, like, lie about it. You know what I mean? But then also at the same time, too, I'm kind of like, well, in a way, she got people talking. And L'Oreal, honestly, like... Like, they could probably get in legal trouble for this because it is considered false advertising. But I do want to say they have probably made millions of dollars off of this mascara. Especially being that it is a little bit pricey too. But so many people were buying this. And y'all, it was sold out at every single Target around me. So I'm like, this is literally getting people to shop. So anyways, I did a review of that. If you guys are interested, you guys can head back on my channel to a couple days ago and um, check out my review of that. Um, what else was I going to say? I forgot. I don't know, y'all. Today, I'm just in one of those moods where I'm like, I'm a little bit loopy. Like, I literally, I've been drinking a little bit too much. I drank three days in a row, y'all. Three days in a row. So my brain is just kind of all over the place. And I just feel like, oh, I need to sleep. Anyways, let me shut up. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. The first product that I wanted to actually talk about right here is um, a Nordstrom's exclusive. And I do want to say I'm actually kind of surprised because normally with Kylie, I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever. But for some reason, this lip color right here was really calling my name. I think it's a beautiful lip color. But I do want to say this, though. I feel like the whole lip kit thing just doesn't work for me. Do you know what I mean? I love the lipstick color, but I'm not going to use a lip liner for a liquid lipstick. I feel like whenever I'm going to wear a liquid lipstick, I can get my lines perfect. I don't need a lip liner. If I'm going to be wearing a tube lipstick, then I will use a lip liner. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I do like this, but being that it is $32, I wouldn't spend $32 on it only because I'm not going to use that lip liner with it. Do you know what I mean? So if you guys know if she sells this color individually, let me know because this color to me is actually really gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I was like, that's really cute. But I don't know. I would kind of only purchase it if it was just individual only because like I said, I wouldn't use a lip liner with it. So I'm kind of on the fence on that. I want to say it's a bop because of the color, but then I want to say it's a flop because like, I don't, I don't need a lip liner for liquid lipsticks. Do you guys use lip liners for liquid lipsticks? I really wonder because everyone that I personally know when they're wearing a liquid lipstick, they don't put on a lip liner before. Unless they're kind of going like for like an ombre type of look, you know what I'm saying? Then of course they will. But everybody that I know just puts it straight on because you can obviously get your line your lip line so clean with it you know what I mean so I'm kind of like I wonder how she's doing in the whole lip kit business because to me I'm like I don't really need it so yeah this is this is an in-between next up right here we have another Disney collection but this one's only available in Asia however I did want to talk about this only because I want to get your guys's opinions on this and this right here is obviously just repeated products from Benefit but then it does have like Snow White on there and it has is that Aurora I think and like the what's that queen's name is she she's just the evil queen i think i don't know and then you have maleficent on the brow pencil i want to get your guys's opinion about this because do you guys feel like stuff like this is necessary because see i'm just not that big of a fan of like anything that i'm just kind of like like oh my gosh i gotta go out and buy this disney pencil being that i already have a bunch of them do you know what i'm saying like i literally have a bunch of these pencils right here because i always pick them up whenever they go on the alta 21 days of beauty and they're like 12 dollars. so i'm like i wouldn't go out of my way to buy this one just because there's maleficent on the packaging do you know what i'm saying so that's why i'm just really curious to get your guys's opinion about this because i look at this and i'm like 
I don't know. And on top of that, too, to be honest with you, I don't even like the packaging. Like, I feel like it, I don't know, it looks weird to me. Am I tripping? Like, I don't know. I look at this and I'm like, I don't like it. Like, the one, the um, professional um, spray, it just, I don't know, it looks weird to me. It kind of looks cheap, if I'm being honest. It almost looks kind of like a knockoff. Do you know what I mean? Like, it looks like it could be like a fake product. It just, I don't know. It just looks really cheap to me. And I just don't really understand the whole purpose of repackaging the same exact products just to put a character on it, you know? And I wonder if they end up charging more there's no prices listed but i wonder if they end up charging more just for this packaging because to me i'm just kind of like what like i don't know i could get it if you did mix in a couple of repeated products like i totally get that like mac for example every single time that they would come out with a new collection they would mix in some old products and just change up the packaging but then they had a bunch of new products with it do you know what i'm saying so that kind of makes sense when you have like the beloved products in there but mixed with new ones but when this is all just repeated products i'm like i don't kind of understand it so make sure you guys let me know your opinions about that this one to me i feel like is a flop because i'm like i just you know it's not something that i gravitate towards but i did want to talk about it within this video because i really am curious at like who is this for like as like our disney stands like that much of stands that they're like i gotta purchase this just because evil queen's on it i really want to know next up we have new blushes okay now when i first saw this actually scrolling through trend mood i thought these were do you guys remember those little two face i'll if i could find a picture i'll put it up on the screen i used to love these little two face tubes that had like a sponge tip applicator i love those and i thought that she was coming out with her version of these but no turns out these are matte blushes but they are still cream okay so they're a cream to matte and i'm just kind of like not gonna be into it uh not a cream sorry it's a liquid and y'all know me and liquid blushes i just can't you any like liquid or cream that has any different type of pigment that's not foundation just doesn't work for me like this i don't have really anything on right now i have on a little bit of tint and that's it so you guys can see some of my redness that shows through but if i were to put blush on top of this y'all it would literally just take it off I, I don't know why like my skin i'm really trying my hardest to like figure out what it is about the um acids on my skin because i was like doing so much reading into this that like apparently my um skin's ph is off like if your makeup like say for example if you use a brush and it just like peels off it normally is because of your um skin's ph balance and y'all i tried using so many different products that are supposed to like help regulate your skin's ph and nothing is working for me so i'm like i just don't get it like i really don't so like i would love to use cream blushes or liquid blushes but it just doesn't work. It just literally peels off my foundation and I look horrible. It looks splotchy. It looks separated. I always have to put on like a good amount of foundation and setting powder and then put on a powder blush if I'm going to be wearing blush. So creams to me, even though I'm sure that this is probably going to be beautiful, especially coming from Charlotte Tilbury, I just probably would have to pass on this. But I do want to say I feel like the packaging is really cute, but it does definitely look like those little lip ones from Too Faced, like 100%. I don't know if you guys remember those, if they even still sell them. I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen them in years, but they used to be like the color of the packaging and i thought that was so cool i bought a bunch of them when i was freelancing during that time and i was like oh i love things like that because you just look in your bag and you know where it's at as to where say for example with mac back in the day i would have so many mac lipsticks in my kit and i would get so frustrated looking for a specific shade because you have to look at the bottom of every single shade and i'm like this is just too much um so i think that these will be beautiful but probably a no for me i did do a full my thoughts and opinions about this but just in case you guys didn't check out that video i did want to mention jeffree star's new um wyoming winter collection there were two products that I'm actually kind of itching to try only because obviously it has been so cold in California like this is like really tripped me out this is the coldest winter I think that we've ever had and my skin has just been really really dry like recently like right now I have on my um, skin tint and I don't have on any powder like literally normally I would be looking like a grease ball but because my skin's dry it's been you know like good to not set my foundation anyways I wanted to try out this um, restorative cream moisturizer because when I was doing my thoughts and opinions video about it it is a little bit more on the pricey side it is $42 as to where I want to say his original moisturizers are $28 I think Think, something like that so this is a little bit more pricey but the ingredients sounded really good and i was like i'm kind of intrigued in this and then also i wanted to try the um recovery face oil too i was like you know what that sounds really good too so i did do a full uh, my thoughts and opinions video about this but i specifically wanted to talk about those two products because they actually sound like they are a little bit of a bop but i obviously would have to try it but i'm being cheap y'all i'm gonna wait until they go on sale and then i'll probably try it out because they just sounded really really good and seemed like they would work good for my skin so i will update you guys and let you guys know if he ever does have these on sale because then i will try them next up we have the new love collection by pat mcgrath okay i recently did a video before too and oh my gosh y'all apparently i ruffled some feathers with that like 
it's so crazy. Like people just don't, I guess because they watch like one video of yours that they don't really know you, you know, people don't understand that I have looked up to Pat McGrath for years, y'all. Literally since before I even did YouTube, I looked up to Pat McGrath. So I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh, whenever I make some type of like constructive criticism being like, oh my gosh, like her collections just aren't doing it for me. And I titled that video, is she, video is she in her flop era? Y'all, some people got so mad at me and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's just my opinion that the things that she's coming out with are just really lackluster and dull and very repetitive. She comes out with the same things over and over and over again. Like, honestly, you guys know that I've said it time and time again, like so many of her palettes have that same mauve pink shade and then that like dark, like current type of color. Do you know what I mean? Like a, it's either like a plum or a burgundy. It's like in every single palette. And I'm like, it's just so repetitive. And when you're spending $125 for a palette, you don't want to be having the same repetitive colors in each palette when you're spending that much money. Do you know what I'm saying? and then also here we are again like we have that same like blushy pink in the matte palette and I just I don't know like I look at all these palettes and I'm like from Pat McGrath like this is just I don't know like I just don't like it I feel like everything looks dull it looks plain and I don't know I just don't get it y'all I look up to Pat McGrath so much I feel like she is such an amazing artist she's literally an icon but as far as for her makeup line, I feel like she started with a bang and it was like, oh my gosh, beautiful. And I was like drawn into everything. But now in my personal opinion, that's why I made that video. Is she in her flop era? I really, it's just my opinion that I think that she is. Because everything that she's coming out with recently, I just don't like, you know, I do want to say though, I would like to try her liquid eyeshadows because I feel like they would be really, really pretty. If you guys have tried any of those, please let me know how they are Um, because I have not tried any, but, um, and those are only $29. I feel like that's not too bad because um, Stila's are like what, like 20, 28, 26, something like that. So they are up there too, you know? So I'm curious to know how hers are, but as for the rest of the collection, I'm just kind of like, nah, like I feel like this is a flop in my opinion. This one I'm super on the fence with. These are new. Um, It's called The Bronzer by Jones Road Beauty. These are $35 each, which it is a little bit, um, you know, a little bit pricey, but I do want to say this. The reason why I was intrigued by these is because the shades of these actually looked very beautiful to me. They don't look too orange. They don't look like they'd be too fake. You know what I'm saying? They actually look like there are a, like there's a couple shades in here that actually look neutral. So I'm like, you know what? I'm really curious. However, I'm really confused by Jones Road. You know what I mean? Because honestly, y'all, I know that like her foundation went viral from that like girl on TikTok who like slaps everything on. And ever since then, I still see people with that, um, what's it called, the WTF foundation. And I'm like, I don't know, y'all. I'm really thrown off by the brand because I'm like, mm, I feel like Bobbi Brown has come out with some like amazing products. But Jones Road to me, I don't know how their stuff is, especially after seeing that foundation. I'm like, why would people even buy that? Like, it literally looks like curdled milk. It is just so nasty but these shades look beautiful this is actually something that i would like to swatch in person before giving a shot so i'm like really curious about this and then i'm also wondering like how the actual color payoff would be because i do think the jones road beauty is supposed to be a little bit more natural and y'all as i do get older i like stuff that is a little bit more soft a little bit more easy to blend and blend in as well too you know what i'm saying so i feel like this is something that i would actually like to try but it's something that i would have to see in person especially because 35 dollars is it's a little bit a little bit pricey but i don't know i don't know to me these shades look really really beautiful um I do think though that she did need a couple deeper shades like I would say two more deep shades and I think this would have been really good however I do know this is an initial launch and obviously you want to see how things sell at first but I definitely do think that she could have went a little bit deeper um as to where the lighter end though I do want to point this out I feel like it is really cool that she does have something that has a little bit more of a pinkiness to it you know and I feel like that's obviously more for like pale people because more pale people when they get out in the sun and whatnot you turn a little bit pinky you know what I'm saying so I was like oh, okay this was actually really thought through with the color um color of these I just think that she should have went a little bit deeper but this is something that I may try but I'll have to swatch it in person I got a few more products left I'm gonna try to like brush through them y'all because I'm talking so much um this right here I'm a little bit like intrigued about however from the swatches it looks like there's a lot of shimmer these are the um Kosas um liquid or wait wait IV vitamin infused skin illuminating enhancers so this to me right here is probably going to be like along the lines of the glowish skin tint by Huda Beauty I'm sure you guys have seen that before as well as I feel like it will be like the um Hollywood flawless filter I feel like it's along those lines however this to me looks like it has a lot of shimmer in it the reason why I love the Charlotte Tilbury one is because I'm like there's no it gives you that glowiness but it doesn't look like shimmer is just all up on your cheeks or face you know what I'm saying this looks like it actually has a lot of shimmer to it so this is something that I would like to see in person as well too but judging it from online I'm like okay it does look beautiful it just looks really really shimmery and if it's super shimmery that's something that I would not like at all because y'all I just I don't know too too shimmery just looks weird to me you know what I'm saying especially like when you're in the sun 
kind of just like face full of shimmer. You look like Edward Cullen. I'm just not into it. But um, these retail for $38 and there is 10 shades. And I do want to say I feel like the shade range is actually very, very inclusive. And then on top of that too, being that there is only 10 shades, it's because it's super, super light coverage. This is basically just meant to enhance your skin and give you a little bit more of a glowing boost. Let's go ahead and roll on into the next product, which is very similar to that. These are the new... Um, strobe dewy skin tinted moisturizers by mac and this actually sounded really really pretty to me and these don't look as shimmery as the closest one so i'm like this is something that i think i will actually try so this says right here enriched with hyaluronic acid shea butter squalene and vitamin e the lightweight formula glides over your complexion to give a luminous soft sheen and um a dewy finish there are 16 shades of this once again a limited amount of shades only because it is obviously very very light coverage so it is more adaptable to way more skin tone so this is something i think that i would actually like to try because i used to love strobe cream it is one of those things though y'all like i cannot wear strobe cream if i'm gonna have a long day like if i'm gonna be having my makeup on for like eight hours no like i will be looking like a grease ball but if i'm gonna be like going out you know maybe go to the bar go to the club for a couple hours like i definitely will have my skin looking a little bit more glowy do you know what i'm saying only because i'm like oh it gives you that like really pretty radiance but if you were to see me in daylight, then I'll probably look a little busted. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like in the nighttime, I like my skin to look more glowy. So I don't know. I feel like that's something that I probably wouldn't wear. Like if I'm going to have like a long day, because I'll be looking a little bit scary. Anyways, moving on to the next products right here. I've actually been on the hunt for these because these are only $4. These are the new um, camo color correctors by elf cosmetics. They're only $4 and they have pink and peach and blue to correct all of your, you know, areas that you need to be corrected. I really want to get the green one. As you guys know, I have redness, this redness right here, y'all. All the laser treatments that I've done are just still not helping, but um, I do definitely want to try this to see how it would be because every green concealer that I've tried before, I just end up not liking because it shows through still. Do you know what I mean? Like it just looks too green. So I'm really curious to try these and being that it's only $4, I'm like, let me get my hands on this and I'll actually let you guys know how this is because I intend 100% to buy this only because it's $4. Like I feel like that's such a great price. Um, moving on, sorry, I'm like breezing through it because I'm like, oh my gosh, this video is getting so long. Um, these are, I think I've talked about these before, so I do apologize if I am repeating myself, but I wanted to throw this in there. These are Charlotte Tilbury highlighters, and y'all, this to me probably should have just been in my anti-haul because absolutely never would I purchase these. It's $48, and I want to ask you guys this. Like, I know that we talk about highlighters here on my channel quite a bit, and I want to ask you guys, like, what would make you want to spend $48 on a highlight? Like, that's where I always get a little bit confused because honestly you can use just a single individual eyeshadow and I feel like so many highlights look the same I feel like if you have one from elf it's going to look similar to the one from Charlotte Tilbury like nobody's going to be able to see that you're wearing Charlotte Tilbury versus elf do you know what I mean so I feel like I never understood why people spend that much on a highlighter like I totally get it obviously there probably is better ingredients and yes you're also paying for the name too you're paying for the packaging I totally get it but 48 dollars for a highlight I just, I don't know. Like, I've actually seen a commercial of this, um, these highlights on, on TV, and they did look gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but I just feel like you can achieve that look with a drugstore product. Like, I feel like you can use a wet and wild highlighter, and it's going to look very similar to that, because at the end of the day, it's just shine on your cheek. Do you know what I'm saying? So I would definitely pass on this. That definitely should have been in my anti haul because I'm like, never in my life will I pay $48 for a highlight. Like, y'all can put a billion dollars in my bank account right now, and I'm not... I'm not going to spend $48 on a highlight. Just not. Anyway, so that is it for the list right there. Make sure you guys let me know. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.